Hi everyone, on today's vlog, I'm gonna be talking to you about one of the hottest topics and most asked about questions that I get from couples and families, which is bridging visas. Now, if you haven't heard about a bridging visa, don't worry, I'm gonna cover the basics in this session, but the most important thing that you need to know is that they are not a one size fits all approach and it's best to get tailored advice. At Freedom Migration, every couple's partner visa journey starts with a visa planning session where I'll be meeting with you and your partner, talking about your relationship history, what your plans and goals are for the future, and what this might look like in terms of your eligibility to lodge an application. From here, we're gonna be crafting a roadmap or strategy that's tailored to your unique circumstances, and I'll be preparing you for the obstacles that you might face along the journey and bridges you'll need to cross cross or bridging visas that you might hold or want to apply for as part of the process. So what is a bridging visa and how does it work? In keeping with its namesake, a bridging visa essentially bridges the gap between two points. The first being the visa that you hold and the second being the destination or the processing time of your end visa. Typically we're talking about them in the context of an onshore application, but that is not always the case. Bridging visas do, however, relate to your ability to remain lawfully in Australia or travel and return to Australia whilst you're waiting on an outcome for a new application. Sounds simple, right? Not so fast. Bridging visas are incredibly complex because the type of visa, its conditions, and how long it's valid for have so many variable circumstances that need to be factored in when you're planning your partner visa process. There's a bridging visa A, B, C, D, E, F, and R. Not all of those are going to apply to you, but it's really important that you understand that the basics of how it all works. I've come up with this really easy saying to help you remember. A is awesome, B is better, C is challenging, and E is an emergency. Read my full blog post for more detailed information and a breakdown of what these different bridging visas mean and how they might apply to your circumstances and what you need to plan for. But if you want advice that's tailored to your needs and your circumstances, book a consultation or a visa planning session and I look forward to meeting with you.